Is the Storm Legacy worth it? That's the question that we're going to ask today. Now, a friend of mine, a homie of mine, Gokenbor, shout out to Gokenbor, by the way, sent me a picture of the GameStop website. He actually took a screenshot and showed that the Storm Legacy is going to be 80 bucks, okay? 80 dollars, man, 80 pesos, 80 pesasos, okay? Now, to some of you, that might seem like a steep price, but if you really, really think about it, each title is 20 bucks, okay? You're paying 20 bucks for each Storm game, basically. I think it's a good deal, but what I wanna ask you guys is, do you think it's worth it because I know some of you guys, or a lot of you guys that might be watching this video, have already bought and played most of the Storm games, right? Like, maybe you skipped one or two, okay maybe you skip games like the first one or the second one or the third one or whatever anywhere in between that so the the smartest thing to do if you are one of those people would be to wait uh, until the playstation store updates and see if they release the game separately okay because this is the big part of being able to save fucking money to be honest i'm not willing to pay 80 dollars to get another version of storm 4 because by the way in case you guys didn't know, um, I have four copies of Storm 4. I have the digital version of the four game Road to Boruto. I have the digital version of the standard now Storm 4 game. I got a physical version of the standard Storm 4 game. And then I got a physical version of the Road to Boruto Storm 4 game. Okay? So I have the game four fucking times. And I really don't need a fifth copy. You, you dig what I'm saying? So if I could buy, let's say, Storm 1 and 3, or even 2 included, uh, digitally instead, or shit, man, even if I can buy it physically uh, at 60 bucks, I feel like that'll be a better thing. Because uh, for me, right now, the only option is to buy the trilogy. I do not want the legacy for any fucking reason, alright? Some of you guys might want the legacy. So the question remains is, do you think 80 bucks is worth the price for the four games? You know, uh, one, one, two, and three had really nice story modes. They had really nice story modes. They actually, Cyber Kunda Two went out of the way to put real nice cutscenes, real nice boss battles. But then on Storm Four, it kind of fell flat on its face. Like Storm Four story mode is literally this, the the anime screenshots, uh, and then with, with a few cutscenes here and there, and some cool boss battles here and there. It's not as nice as Storm Three was, or even as nice as Storm Two was. So. You know, I, that, that's the question that's going to actually end up staying with a lot of people, you know. Uh, is this really marketed towards the fans or is this marketed towards the people that could potentially become fans? And I, I don't understand the point of that, to be honest, of marketing to, I'm marketing this game to people that could potentially become fans because of the fact that the Storm games are already done and over with. You get what I'm saying? If anything, I feel like this is the last hurrah to Storm. So... I don't see the point of them wanting to bring in newer fans when the series is already done. Uh, with that being said, if you guys are, you know, fans of Storm for a long time, you are kind of getting a shaft here uh, with these bundles because the best course of method would be to wait until the PlayStation Store uh, updates and then possibly just getting the games one by one uh, on the PSN Store. That way you can save money. And I mean, th there's another there's another cost to it, which is. If you're one of those people that are like me that prefer to have physical versions of games, because the thing with me is when I buy a game digitally, I don't feel like I own the game. Yeah, I can boot it up whenever I want. I can uninstall it whenever I want. I can install it whenever I want. But at the same time, I don't feel like I really own it because I don't have it physically, all right? I can't physically touch it. Uh, so with me specifically, if I buy these games digitally, I'll have to make the sacrifice of having them digitally and not feel like I really own them while at the same time being able to play them. You get it? Um, anyways, I'm gonna just leave the video here. Let me know specifically what you guys think about the Storm Legacy. By the way, it's coming out on August 25th. $80 for the Legacy. I'm assuming that the trilogy is gonna be 60 bucks. Let me know if you guys are interested, if you think the price is fair, because I'm actually kinda curious, all right? I'm out, guys. Peace.